Okay, so these are all my tracers. So this is the main line of my trot line. Triple threat swivel on here, snap swivel. What is it, like 200 pound, 250 pound line or something like that. And then every three feet we have a stopper knot with glue on it. Put a tracer every other knot. Again, jugs by Burt. The weight that came with it is going to be our main dropper line. This will be the final video in the Jugs by Burt series. I wanted to show how you could use some of the equipment in, in various and different ways. So again, triple threat swivel with one of the Jugs by Burt weights. It's going to go overboard. We'll take the first of our tracers here, already pre-baited. We're going to put it on this side of the... Bam, and it's ready to go. Now you got that one there. Don't put one there, but we'll put a, uh, another tracer here. Every other knot you'll put a tracer. That cork will keep it up off the bottom. This is a New Zealand style trot line with jugs by Burt. The current and the wind are blowing in the direction we need it to blow. What we'll do is just let the wind sort of pull along slightly. That's the, last, that's the clip there. All right, sink this whole thing to the bottom here. Jugs by Burt. That's another weight, and this is going to go straight to the bottom, but right, the loop here is going to clip right there, right? And that whole thing will snap together, keep saying, bam. And that guy will sink to the bottom of the river. Start feeling some tension on the line. The boat starts to sort of anchor itself almost, and we'll go ahead and drop the other one. The little rosette thing there. We're going to put a couple of ramps around here. And then back through the slit that's, bam, like that. That's marking the spot of the trot line. Now you could put two of them out there, but we're going to try that like it is. We're going to let that sit most of the day, and we'll come back at the end of the day. A little bit better shot there so you can see it. There's about 12 hooks on that trot line. Actually, there's more than 12. There's something maybe like 14 hooks on that trot line. Alabama, they allow you... 100 hooks on a trot line. Okay, so without a doubt, that's going to need another weight in the middle of it to really get it down, but I got it as taut as possible. Just let it trace it in because that's a lot of flotation. You put 15 of those on any line, it's going to float just about anything. You know, so like three weights, one at the beginning, one in the middle, one at the end. Without a doubt, the jugs by Burt, they just, they just seem to show up better. They just sit higher out of the water than my other jugs, unless it's the yellow, I think it's the yellow paint on it. I mean, yellow, oranges, bright reds, those are the colors you want to stick to with jugs. And if you do have some of the darker colors, like I have some purples that are hard to see, purple, if you look at a color wheel, purple and, and yellow are contrasting colors. So if you can find the yellow ones, they will actually contrast with the purple ones and make the purple ones easier to find. Let's say you got a bunch of green ones. Well, if you put red with that green, it'll actually contrast and make one pop out with the other one. That's why, you know, Christmas colors are red and green mostly. What a little channel feels like. Not much on the jug, so guess what? Black to bluegill fishing. <laughs> I think this bluegill is a better bait to use for the catfish, but we're out of maggots. So all I did was cut a very thin sliver of chicken liver here and just drift it just like we did the maggots and they're taking that. If that's the case, man, we'll have, I got enough beef livers in the freezer to, to, to catch a Turn off a little sliver like that. And that's, that's all I put on there. It's about the size of one of my black soldier flies and it, We cannot run this trot line below that dam. Oh, they've opened up some gates. They only had one gate open. They've opened four more up now. The clips work too well. They hold on really well. Water's definitely cooling down a lot. Nothing on the trot line. We'll head up, see if we can't re reset our jugs. Man, jugs by Burke marked the trot line pretty well. So I think we found them. They're just further up. Wow. 
channel. It's about as big as channel catfish get in this part of the river. Without a doubt, the smaller ones are coming on the livers. You see, although it's a great day for fishing, it wasn't until I started pushing current that we started really getting bites. And we're getting channels up here. Boy, it'll be fun on a six-way fly rod like I have. They're biting, man. Nice little channels below here. Yep, evening bite. That little four-out hook had no problem getting it. Fish the full moon, fish the new moon. Forget the rest. Small channel. What do you think? Gosh. Channel. 